What an ordeal. Another five weeks till the elections. Per Steinbrück's poll ratings are poor. He has to fight for every vote, everywhere. Per Steinbrück has to visit the cow barn. Per Steinbrück has to take to the streets. Per Steinbrück has to visit the shipyard. Per Steinbrück is running for chancellor. Per Steinbrück at a hip gallery in Berlin's Kreuzberg district. He wants to govern Germany. And this is how he pitches it. On September 22nd, we want a new chancellor. One who won't demand too little from this republic, who won't lull it to sleep, but will gather together all those who have an interest in this republic. A chancellor who will lead. And then Andrea Nahles, general secretary of the Social Democrats, explains how she expects the SPD to beat the popular current chancellor. We want to conduct the most modern campaign of any party in Germany. The SPD's version of a modern campaign? Posting election placards, canvassing neighborhoods, giving big speeches in big cities. Steinbrück begins where he feels secure, his own electoral district in the town of Mettmann in the Rhineland. The local farmers association has invited him to visit a dairy farm. Have prices increased again? Yes, in the last half year, prices have been rising again. The candidate is striving for a down-to-earth image, but he often seems chilly and aloof. To hear something personal, you have to ask. Later, when we had children, we often vacationed on the farm, four or five times. I admit, not in North Rhine-Westphalia, but in the Allgäu region. Did you milk the cows? I tried to and realized that it's very strenuous and you need a certain technique. In person, he's a pleasant guy. This is the first time I've met him personally. I have a good impression. He's direct and speaks openly and listens. Will you vote for him? I'll have to see. From the stable to the streets, Steinbrück wants to talk with people, so he starts out by himself. The Social Democrats want to recover their image as the party that addresses people's problems. I've been to your place before. Yes, a number of times. You've forgotten. No, I have a good memory. If he becomes chancellor, then things will start moving. Will he be elected? I hope so. I think he's good, but he's in the wrong party. <laughs> That's probably how many people here think. Steinbrück in the Emsland region, a Christian Democrat stronghold. Steinbrück gets along fine with Mr. Meyer, the head of the Meyer shipyard. The SPD chancellor candidate is considered business friendly. During the campaign, he poses for pictures with the apprentices. The cruise ship factory is right up his alley. He's happy to answer questions from the journalists, for example, what shipbuilding and politics have in common. Here, they not only understand complexity, they master complexity. And it's similar in politics. And that's the answer you want to hear. And what do the workers want to hear? Ideas for economically languishing regions. It's very important for us in this region. A lot of jobs depend on it. Let's hope he does something about it for us. And would you vote for him? I'll look at the whole picture. Small talk in the stalls, in a cafe, and in the shipyard. That's one thing. A rousing campaign speech is another. And that's Per Steinbrück's world. The Christian Democrats can't handle money. If they govern the desert, there'd be a shortage of sand. Hamburg, the first big rally for the Social Democrats. Per Steinbrück scolds the governing coalition and promises secure pensions, a minimum wage, child care, and fair rents. The rest is business as usual. The candidate lets the gruff, somewhat abrasive northern German peek through. Take note of it as voters. Who has done something, and especially who has not done something in the last four years? Steinbrück talks about past mistakes, including his own. 
some verbal gaffes that cost him popularity. We want to carry out politics with content, and that sometimes rubs people the wrong way. Some of my remarks might be provocative, but at least you know where you stand with me. Whether that leads people to vote for him is another question. The polls don't look good. There are still five weeks of campaigning. Five more weeks for Per Steinbrück to turn things around.